Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. It's a little hard to give an excitable intro when we come into Teo's episode and Sundance is not here. She has been such a precious character, a loving mother, a strong mate who brought Teo peace, love, compassion, freed him from his rage even. I don't know that we'll ever have a mate quite like Sundance. We have a lot of good memories of her. The pups are crying in the background. They don't really understand why their father isn't giving them attention. But Sundance is gone and he still has six beautiful pups that need him. Six pups that came from her and he can't forget about them. They're hungry. They need their dad. They don't have any sort of food. Mikhail and Kirby have gone out to find food for the rest of the pack. And Teo needs to distract himself for a moment from the loss of Sundance as Eartha takes her. So he's gonna hunt for his pups and pray that Eartha guides him and keeps him strong for them. His heart is broken and he doesn't really know if he can move on from this. The only thing he can do is take care of his pups right now. And so that's what he will do. Teo was graced with a very lucky find and he is heading back to the pups now. He doesn't really want to be away from them for too long because right now that is the only thing he really has left of Sundance is his beautiful children. And while he heads back, I'm going to roll to see if the goddesses will bless Teo today. And I actually rolled a one. So the goddesses are being very merciful to Teo, knowing that his loss is great, his heartbreak is wreaking havoc on his soul. And so they're giving him a chance to recover. Because bad days do happen and there are days that the goddesses decide he needs a challenge, but today is not that day. Instead, he will be with his pups. He will lay with them. He will take care of them. He'll hold them close and tell them stories of their mother from the past before they were born. Tell them that their mother is safe with Eartha. That Earth is protecting her now. And that she's hunting with Eartha and she doesn't get tired. And she can run forever. And that one day they will be with her again. I think the pups are sad by this. But because of the faith that both Teo and Sundance have raised them with, they do feel a bit of hope. They feel a bit of comfort knowing that even though their mom is not with them here in the physical realm, that she is in a far better place than they are even right now. Stella, however, is wandering off a little bit. I don't think she's taking this as well. That was her mom. <laughs> it looks like Tangle and Cohen might be trying to coax her back to play that I think Stella is really, really broken by this. And she's howling for her mom. Oh gosh, I said I wasn't gonna cry in this episode, but I might actually. <laughs> and so they'll howl together, calling out to their mom in the forever hunting grounds. Hoping that she can hear them and know that she is loved and very much missed. And so now Teo will cuddle up with his pups in the grass and sleep next to them. They all need rest after the news of losing their mother and Teo's mate. The night is cold as Teo and the pups awaken. Mikhail and Kirby would be back right about now and seeing Teo awake and playing with his pups and spending time with them. 
I imagine that they will have a moment together, the brothers holding each other, and Mikhail saying, I will never leave you. You'll always be here so long as you want to be here. You're my brother, you're my family, you're my pack. And together, all of them will say one last goodbye to Sundance together. The whole pack, Kirby, Mikhail, Aurora, Fridley, the other young ones that are running around will all join in unison a last song to the sunlight that has left them. I do think at some point Kirby would ask Teo if he would consider having another mate because she's not very delicate about things. I don't think she means any harm by it. But this is where Teo will state very firmly, she was my first and she will be my last. And so when this series ends with Teo, this will be the last litter we ever have with him. Now that doesn't mean his story is over, y'all. I still have some really important plot lines that include Teo. He's not done. His story is nowhere near finished. Pups, why are you getting so far? <laughs> but we will not have any litters with him any longer. Teo decides to let the coyote go. There's a very strange thought that he has. What if that coyote's a parent and has a mate waiting back at home and he just can't bring himself to kill it? It came after his pups and the food that they had, and that should be enough reason to take a coyote down so they don't come back, but he just couldn't have the heart. It just wasn't there. The thought that he may cause pain to another coyote the heartbreak that he's feeling right now. Even he couldn't do it. But he goes back and he checks on his pups and they seem fine. But yes, Teo still has a little bit of story left. We will still hear about Teo and it may be that what we do with him is only in multiplayer. <laughs> but his story is not done. But no, he will not seek out another mate. He will not have any more pups. So we have to enjoy this last series with Teo. Every second we can get of it. Nice, so Teo was able to take down a mother mule deer. He's hoping he can still find the child, um, but he was quite hungry. He still needs to eat and he knows that that's what Sundance would want. There was a part of me that wanted to have Teo maybe not eat, but Sundance has affected Teo so much in his life that I just don't think he would dishonor her by hurting himself and risking their pup's lives. He's in a different part of his life. If he had not gotten as many pack points as he did and had Sundance to help him, I think he would have taken that, that road of maybe not taking care of himself and not taking care of his pops. But because of her influence and her love, he can't do that now. He would never. <laughs> and it's all because of her. And what a prize Teo has found in the distance, a moose calf. He's been really successful with moose calves lately, and he's sincerely hoping that the luck continues because he's gonna go after this, but without Sundance's help. And that was truly easy. Teo is feeling the blessing of the goddesses right now, and he silently praises them for their mercy on him, that they are certainly handing him things this day, knowing that his heart is broken. His faith has not wavered, and that is exactly what Sundance would want. However, his desire to go and be without his pups to take territory is diminished. He knows that he still needs to do it. He knows that his goal is to truly try and reach Crevice Lake 
and help them not be so aggressive and hateful, but turn to Eartha and her ways to be a united pack. That has been his goal. But now with Sundance gone, all he can think about is being with his pups. Feeding them, feeding himself, keeping them alive. He can't really think about anything else. He just wants to be with them. And speaking of pups, let's go ahead and do a weight check. It's been a while since we've done one of those. So Cohen is 17 pounds, Stella's 18.3, Dahlia 17.8, Talon is 17.2, Elwood <laughs> is 16.1. He's trying, y'all. He is legit trying. <laughs> And then we have Little Tangle, who is 17.9 pounds. So these pups are growing up a little slower, especially Elwood is just struggling to get up there. But they're healthy and they're happy to have their dad with them. They're happy to have their uncle and aunt with them. They're happy to have their cousins with them. And so even though this loss is great and they're heartbroken to lose their mom, they're surrounded by love, surrounded by family, surrounded by hope, surrounded by faith, and they haven't given up. And I think that a lot of that strength comes from Sundance herself. She never really had a weak moment that I can think of. She was always so passionate about everything and you can see it in these little bundles of love and fluff. And they do love to sing. And I do think Sundance really enjoyed singing in her last days. She did a lot of howling and singing and praying to Eartha. I think in some ways she knew she was gonna go. I know I read a comment that maybe the reason that she ended up coming with Teo that one time was because she felt like she was she was going to be taken at least in the next few days and so she pushed herself onto Teo a little bit knowing it was getting close to her time. So Teo is going to call everyone back into the grass once again and he's going to snuggle with his pups while he rests. Teo wakes after a long night of rest. He is truly feeling much, much better. At some point, Mikhail did tell Teo that he would take over his duties and help with Crevice Lake so that Teo could enjoy being with the pups in exchange for just also taking care of the pups. But Teo's awoken this night and he gets a strong smell of bear and it's bringing him a lot of fear. Mikhail and Kirby are still out right now and Aurora and Fridley are nearby. He can smell them, but they're not exactly at the den. And so he's very nervous as his pups sleep. So he's going to go and check on this bear, and make sure that it's nowhere near him and his pups. Fortunately, Teo has found the tracks and they seem to be going away from the den entirely. The den, the rendezvous site. He feels a little more comfort after smelling that. But the pups are asleep and affinity is good. So he's gonna go check to see if there's anything left on that doe carcass and feed himself a little bit. And if he happens to find anything for the pups to eat while he's out, he's certainly going to get it for them. There wasn't much left at all, and so Teo is thinking about hunting while the pups are still resting. Looks like an elk herd is pretty close by, which is exciting Teo a little bit. There's nothing like the thrill of the hunt, and it does take some of the pain away, being able to put your focus into something other than loss. But he does smell dispersals and that's making him nervous. He doesn't really want to see any other females. He's not interested in females and he's just hoping that he doesn't run into them. And there's the herd! Now cow elk are usually pretty strong this time of year, but Teo's kind of excited for the challenge. He's sincerely hoping that Sundance is looking down on him and is proud that he would take this opportunity for a great kill for his family. He did actually manage to find one that had half health, 
which is pretty good for uh, for springtime. Usually they're all pretty healthy. But this one was a bit of a straggler, and so she kind of gave herself away, being as far as she was from the rest of her herd. And so Teo snuffed that out pretty quickly. He was trying to go after the spike elk because it was also kind of straggling a bit. But this female was even better. And with that, he will head back to the pups. They still have plenty of food and he just doesn't want to be without them for very long. He was able to strengthen a few hexes while he was out to try and help a little bit with Mikhail and Kirby, not putting so much pressure on them, as well as Aurora and Fridley. But he appreciates their generosity of helping him with his own goals because he just wants to be with his children and watch them grow because he too knows that this will be his last litter. He doesn't want another mate. Instead, he will just help watch Mikhail's family grow. And Aurora, if she continues to have pups, although it doesn't look like that is something she really desires right now. Well, that is all the time I have for this episode with Teo. It is good to see him pull so close to his family and not let this loss devastate everything that Sundance did for him in the four years that they've spent together. I hope y'all liked this episode. If you did, tickle and poke that like button, subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle the bell so you're notified of when I post WolfQuest videos. Also, feel free to join Discord or follow me on Twitch. The link to both of those is in the description below. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next week with more of Brothers Bond with Teo. It'll probably be our finale. Bye!